Hi everyone, Chris and I have decided to hit the road and make our way to Vegas, baby. You could literally make a day trip of all the things to see on the way to Vegas without actually going into Vegas. But today's video is about the beautiful Bellagio Fountains. Each time we visit Vegas, we always stop and take a long look at the fountains. It's a focal point on the strip that thousands of people pass every day and besides the obvious location of standing in front of the fountains, we wanted to show you a couple of places that you might want to visit if you want the best view with a little something extra. So we invite you to join us on this episode of The Walker Chronicles. We're staying at the Nomad, which is a boutique hotel inside the Park MGM. It's our first time at the Nomad, so we're excited to check out this hotel within a hotel experience. The hotel itself is dark and sexy with dim lighting all around. We love the lighting fixtures in the halls that lead to the room which create a pattern all over the walls. There are lots of decorative details, something that Vegas does very well. Even the door had a little something extra. We chose the classic king room which is light and bright with cream colored walls but it has decor in deep shades of plum, emerald, sapphire and espresso. Their rooms have hardwood floors and some really cool decor like room dividers, fun framed art and a fully stocked refrigerator and chest of drawers that look like a standing trunk. They will bring up an empty refrigerator if you need one. All you have to do is ask. Our room was facing the strip, but the hotel is pushed back pretty far on the property, so we didn't get that strip view feel. The restroom is bright in shades of cream and white with some high-end fixtures and some really nice details. Our room didn't have a bathtub, just a very large enclosed shower. The closet is nice and large, and they provide guests with robes and slippers. The one thing you won't find in this room is an ironing board and iron. Only a steamer is provided, so please take note. So we're going to head on over to Mon Ami Gabi at the Paris Hotel, one of our favorite places to watch the fountains. You'll need to make a reservation, and once you get there, you'll need to request a terrace seat. You might need to wait for it, but it's totally worth the wait. On the weekends, the fountains start around noon, but please check the Bellagio website for specific times and then make your reservation at Mon Ami Gabi accordingly. Oh, look who I found here! Hi! Hello, why don't you join me? Now bread isn't something that arrives here unless you order it, but it does come with sweet cream and the savory carrot salad which is free of charge. Now people watching here is almost as good as the show and you have a front row seat of the strip. We ordered our food and sat back and enjoyed the fountains and music from the Bellagio. So before we show you our absolute favorite fountain viewing spot, we're going to head downtown and take a look at the new Circa Casino and Hotel. We want to check out their sports book and then we'll get ready for dinner. So we're off to the absolute best view of the fountains in our opinion, where you can get great drinks, a great meal, and see some awesome performances. We're headed over to the Mayfair Supper Club in the Bellagio Hotel. 
We arrived early and had some amazing drinks in the bar. Our mixologist Gustavo was really helpful and suggested a few drinks and appetizers. When making reservations, just make sure you ask for a fountain table as seating is extremely limited. We then headed to our table with a spectacular view of the fountains. It's so incredibly close that depending on which way the wind is blowing, you might even get a slight misty breeze. In between the delicious food, drinks, and fountain show, you also get to experience the show at the Mayfair Supper Club. Is it peanut butter? Like a whipped peanut butter, so it's a lot creamier. Like a whipped peanut butter, but that initial taste that you get, uh -huh. it's smoky. Um, yeah. Think of like a marshmallow with that really burnt uh, outer, ed outer edge to it. You kind of get that burned sugary taste. Which is really good, um, but yes, that center is a peanut butter, like a kind of a peanut butter mousse. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's peanut butter. It has it has hints of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I like it though. The singers, musicians, and dancers are awesome, and might even make a stop at your table. Unfortunately, it's time to head home. We had a great stay and really enjoyed ourselves. We hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel as it really helps our channel grow. And until next time, we'll see you on the next episode of The Walker Chronicles.